If you're a fan of spine chilling scares and laugh out loud moments, then you're in for a treat today. We're counting down the wildest, wackiest, and most downright terrifyingly hilarious films that blend horror and humor in perfect harmony. Get ready for jump scares with a punchline and join me as we rank the top five horror comedies on this episode of Ranking Rumble. Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. Horror comedies are both unique and fascinating to me. I mean, you're blending two seemingly opposite emotions, fear and laughter. It's such a strange combination, but it creates this balance and feeling that you can't really get anywhere else. And to me, they're also some of the most engaging films out there. They invite you to participate in the fun as a form of relief from the tension. I also think that they appeal to a wider audience. People who may not normally watch a horror movie might check out a horror comedy because it can be a bit more lighthearted. It's an interesting gimmick for sure. Now, before we get this rumble started, a few stipulations. Horror comedies can encompass a wide variety of films. A huge portion of horror movies in general have comedic moments, but that doesn't necessarily make them horror comedies. I want to focus on the films where comedy is at the forefront. For example, Scream definitely has a lot of comedic elements, but personally, I don't really consider it a horror comedy. Look, it's all subjective. I'm just basing this on how I perceive the movies. Well, it's just about bell time, so go ahead and let me know in the comments what your favorite horror comedy is. It just might make an appearance on the show. All right, grab your popcorn and make your way to your seat. Let's head down to the ring. Starting us off at number five is going to be Scary Movie. I mean, how could I not include this movie? It's a roller coaster ride for your senses filled with some scares, but mostly laughter. You're, you're behind the couch. What? How do you know that? I, I can um, see your feet. We all know that the Scary Movie franchise parodies well-known horror films with the original focusing mainly on Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. One of the film's greatest strengths is its cast. You have Anna Faris, Marlon Wayans, Sean Wayans, and the rest of the ensemble. They all deliver some pretty unforgettable and over-the-top performances. Their comedic timing is impeccable, and their ability to balance humor with horror is quite frankly impressive. What I'm trying to say is that everyone involved understood the assignment. I'm not going to pretend that some of the jokes in this movie have not aged well, but I don't think anyone would deny that this movie is hilarious. The jokes come at you faster than a Braun Breaker spear, and that might even be an understatement. Oh, wait a minute! Interception! A spear by Breaker! Scary Movie also manages to create a sense of suspense and tension, which is kind of surprising for a movie like this. But regardless, I think they pulled it off pretty well. And of course, there's the whodunit element to this movie. To be perfectly honest, the final twist shocked the hell out of me the first time I saw it. So if you've never seen this, I definitely think you should check it out. I think you'll be surprised just how much you laugh. By the way, don't forget to body slam that subscribe button so you never miss any of the heart-pounding, chill-inducing five-star matches we have here at WWH. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. Coming in at number four, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This crazy, wonderful movie is a cult classic horror comedy that perfectly balances the scares with the laughs. The film tells the story of a small town that is invaded by a circus of extraterrestrial clowns who have a penchant for kidnapping humans and basically turning them into cotton candy. The film's unique blend of horror and comedy elements is what makes it so enjoyable. The clowns are both terrifying and hilarious with their grotesque appearance and absurd behavior. The film's special effects are also top-notch, at least in the context of what they had to work with. It creates a surprisingly stunning experience, in my opinion. One of the reasons why Killer Clowns from Outer Space is so effective is that it never takes itself too seriously. The film is full of tongue-in-cheek humor and over-the-top moments that keep you entertained throughout. This is a movie that knows exactly what it is and does not shy away from that whatsoever. 
However, it also manages to deliver some genuinely creepy and suspenseful scenes, ensuring that the film maintains a thrilling experience in the midst of all the comedy. Overall, Killer Clowns is a must-watch for fans of horror and comedy. Its unique blend of scares and laughs combined with its over-the-top special effects and memorable line deliveries, and there are a lot, make it a truly unforgettable film. Popcorn, why? Popcorn! Because the clowns, that's why! Our number three entrant in this rumble is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This film expertly subverts the expectations of the genre. It follows the story of two simple-minded backwoods men, Tucker and Dale, who live in a remote cabin. Their peaceful retreat is interrupted by a group of college students who assume they are sinister killers based on their appearance and the surrounding wilderness. And then there's also the ridiculousness that paints them in an even worse light when an accident makes both sides think that the other are killers. Ah, we got your friend! Oh God! We got Allison! Hey! We got your friend! Why the hell are they running away? The film's genius lies in its ability to play with horror tropes while maintaining a comedic tone. It's a refreshing departure from the typical slasher films that often rely on shock value and just flat out gore nonstop. Instead, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil focuses on humor, character development, and clever twists. The characters are endearing and relatable, making it easy to sympathize with them despite the absurd situations they find themselves in. Both Tyler Labine and Alan Tudyk turn in great performances as Tucker and Dale. What sets this film apart is its ability to balance horror and comedy so seamlessly. The filmmakers blend moments of gore and tension with comedic relief, creating a very unique and enjoyable experience. The film's ending is also pretty satisfying. It offers a clever resolution that further subverts expectations and leaves a lasting impression, in my opinion. Next up at number two, we have Shaun of the Dead. If you watched the last episode, you know that this is my favorite zombie movie of all time. This movie is actually what inspired this episode of Ranking Rumble. It got me thinking about other horror comedies. Directed by Edgar Wright, the film follows Sean, a slacker who finds himself thrust into a zombie apocalypse. The film's unique blend of humor and horror makes it a standout in the genre. The film is full of witty dialogue and physical humor, but it never shies away from the more gruesome elements of the zombie genre. The juxtaposition of the absurd and the terrifying creates something truly memorable. Another reason why Shaun of the Dead is a great horror comedy is its memorable characters. Shaun and his best friend Ed, played by Nick Frost, are relatable and likable protagonists, even if they are a bit annoying at times. They provide much of the film's comedic relief. The supporting cast, including Shaun's girlfriend Liz and his mother, also contribute to the film's surprising charm. I said previously that this is everything I want from a horror comedy, and that's true. It's got loads of gore, clever writing, witty humor, strong performances, literally everything that you could possibly ask for. And I know by now you're probably wondering what I could possibly like more than this based on what I've said already, but there is one horror comedy that I prefer just ever so slightly more than Shaun of the Dead. And let's just go ahead and get to it. Our final entrant in this ranking rumble is Hatchet. This one is a bit different. This is definitely a horror movie, but it's definitely a comedy too. In fact, the reason I prefer this movie is because it's a pretty straightforward slasher, which happens to be my favorite subgenre. But the way that comes across is so intentionally funny that I can't help but love it. Directed by Adam Green, this movie is set in the eerie Louisiana bayou. It follows a group of unsuspecting tourists who become the prey of a deformed, vengeful spirit known as Victor Crowley. While the premise might seem familiar and simple, Hatchet sets itself apart with its intentional humor and over-the-top gore, like I said before. From the moment the film begins, it's clear that Green isn't afraid to poke fun at the horror genre. The characters are a colorful bunch, ranging from the vapid to the downright absurd. Their interactions are filled with witty banter and self-deprecating jokes, creating a sense of camaraderie that makes their inevitable deaths all the more tragic. The film also does not shy away from campy dialogue and cheesy one-liners, which play right into the comedy of the thing. This is another movie that knows exactly what it is, and that is part of why I think it's so good. But don't let that humor fool you. Hatchet also delivers on the horror front. The practical effects are 
top notch. With Crowley's gruesome appearance and the grisly deaths of his victims sure to satisfy even the most hardened horror hounds. Look, I'm a gore fanatic. The more gore a movie has, the more I'm probably going to like it. But it's not really played to be mean here. It's so over the top that you immediately know that this could never possibly happen. And you can just turn your brain off and have fun with it. Underneath all of that is a sense of dread that permeates throughout the film. And this thing is filled with horror legends. You have Kane Hodder, who's probably the most famous Jason, playing Victor Crowley. You have Robert England, you have Tony Todd. All of these icons are here in this little campy slasher flick. Hatchet is a rare gem in the horror genre, a film that manages to be both terrifying but absolutely hilarious at the same time. Its ability to balance the dark and light is a testament to Green's skill as a filmmaker. Whether you're a fan of horror, comedy, or both, Hatchet is a must-watch if you ask me. And that is why Hatchet is my favorite horror comedy of all time. But there you have it. Those are the top five horror comedies according to me. Put your list down in the comments and let's compare. If you're interested in Redcon 1 products, I do have a discount code that you can use to save 20% off of your entire order. Check that out. You can also find all of my merchandise available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Andrew Dreamer. And I've also been working on the WWH Patreon page, and I've been updating some things over there. So go check that out and consider joining us. All of the links are down in the description below. And don't forget to like this video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of the action here at WWH. Now that we've talked about the best horror comedies, what are the best possession movies? Luckily, you can find out by watching the video that's appearing on your screen right now. And remember, in the squared circle of horror, there are no countouts for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.